Hi, my name is Cameron Norman. Today I'll be talking to you about the Beatles. The Beatles can be described as one of the greatest bands in history. Unlike most other bands, their influence stretched beyond music to shape the culture of a generation. The group's roots trace back to March of 1957 when 16-year-old John Lennon and several of his schoolmates in Liverpool, England formed a band. Originally known as the Blackjacks, the band changed their name to the Quarrymen because most attended Quarry Bank School. They were influenced by early rock, skiffle, and beat music. They played and attended local gigs. At 15 years old, Paul McCartney met John Lennon in June of 1957 and soon joined the band. In February of 1958, Paul McCartney introduced John Lennon to George Harrison. George Harrison was just 14 years old. John Lennon was impressed with Harrison's playing but thought he was too young to join the band. By 1959, all of Lennon's original schoolmates had departed the band one by one. John Lennon's friend Seward Sutcliffe joined the band in January of 1960. The band changed their name several times, sticking with the Beatles. In August 1960, when Pete Best joined as the drummer, the Beatles went to Hamburg, Germany after George Harrison was deported for being underage. After Paul McCartney was also deported, for the band returns to England, leaving Sutcliffe behind with his German girlfriend. The Beatles later returned, but Sutcliffe quit the band to return to his studies only after a brain aneurysm in 1962. While in Germany, the band made their first professional recording as a backing band for Tony Sheridan. After returning to England, they met Brian Epstein, who became the man their manager in 1962. Best was replaced on the drums by Ringo Starr. They attempted to get their a recording contract with Decca Records. They were eventually signed to Parlophone by producer George Martin. The band first recorded at Abbey Road Studios in London in 1962. They first had a minor hit with Love Me Do. Their breakthrough hit was Please Please Me, which hit number one in February of 1963. They recorded their first album, Please Please Me, which stayed at number one for 30 weeks. In the late 1963, the band became a huge attraction and began playing at larger venues. In 1964, they made their first trip to the United States. As their popularity grew, it got a name, Beatlemania. The Beatles released a series of successful songs and albums during the remainder of the 1960s, several of which are regarded as the best rock albums in history. They expanded their work by starring in a series of motion pictures. They decided that their 1966 tour would be their last because they felt their shows were no longer about the music. Their manager, Brian Epstein, died in 1967, leaving a void in leadership. The television film Magical Mystery Tour became their first critical flop. All threatened to quit the band. The band released Let It Be as their final studio album. Paul McCartney filed suit to dissolve the band in 1977. 70! 1970! It was not until 1974 that everything was settled as far as ownership rights. The four former Beatles continued to enjoy success as solo artists. In 1980, John Lennon was assassinated. The three surviving members regrouped in 1995 to finish a pair of demonstration recordings left by John Lennon. George Harrison died of cancer in 2001. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr continued to record and tour, both coming to North Carolina in 2014. The band is still widely popular around the world. They were hailed by one critic as artists who broke through the con constraints of their time period to come up with something that was unique and original. They were perceived as an embodiment of the ideals shared by the socio-cultural revolutions that continue to shape our society. Thank you for listening, and my name is Cameron Orham.